Like the better version minus the hooligan, but we'll see here. Yeah, a lot of the advancing normals are kind of tough for Cammy to kind of deal with. Her buttons aren't the best. So she gets to play up close and personal a lot for this, and you do not want to be there. If you get not grabbed by a ball run, Vortex incoming. Yeah, Vortex incoming. But we didn't see so much of that in that last set, so we're going to see what we get on here. Maybe Cammy could have some home, home, home field advantage here. Okay, nope. Yeah, this, is, this is so, so rough for <laughs> Cammy. But if anyone can do it, Soundscope can, but the crowd strong will get that round. So here we go. How, how can he how can he stop this aggression of Balrog? Oh no, Ooh. the cannon spike really whipping nice, gets the grab. Man, that jump back was so beautiful. Ooh, nice. Picking a good jump back, got that jump back jab into the headbutt. Spiral arrow. And nothing you can do about these dash lows, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, Kemi has to hold it, and then nice reaction to the hooligan. Okay, time to guess. Okay, in the throw. Oh. Chip, chip, chip. Nice, just goes for the super, daring him. Like, are you going to super or I am? Yeah, and there you go. So, Silence Go making sure it's not free here. Oh, man, these dash throws. You know, it's so funny how in that set we saw, or when we saw Super B earlier in the in the stream, you know, he was trying to get in here. Now it's just he's playing this backing off game. It's funny, you know, backing, dashing in, backing off, dashing, backing off. Yeah, and, you, and that's kind of how you have to play it. Cammy does not have those good mid-range normals that yeah. Barog ha or Boxer has. And on top of that, has amazing anti-airs, has forward-moving specials that will push her out of the range where she counter -pose. So you can kind of play that kind of hit and run play style against her. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go in the blocker stage. Oh, nice great jumper. reaction here. Yep. This is something about as it should here. Soundscope gonna really have to be careful. The drill. It's just the lesser version of dash low. Here we go, just trading out off the crouch here. Soundscope's gonna have to find a way to establish dominance immediately. You can't take these trades. Oh, great reaction. They're having the charge to headbutt that. Oh, now Vortex not starting. Bruno gets the grab. Nice, and the jump back there, stopping the pressure. Oh, nice whip punish again. Oh, oh my gosh. And the chip will do it here. Silent scope. Doesn't have too many options there. And Super RB going up again, up 2 0 here in this match. Silent going to have to win three all the way back to win oh, this. This is going to be a tough one. Is he sticking with his guns? Yep. I, I feel like when you're a kicker specialist in this game, like you kind of yeah. have to, right? Yeah, it's your signature, right? That's the thing, when you play lower tier characters and then you, swi you switch to a better character, everyone's like, oh, he's just copying out, whatever, but like sticking with his guns here. Yeah, it's unfortunate because the War of Attrition here is so skewed in Super Arby's favor. Um, anytime they trade, Kami loses more health. That almost looked like a beady headbutt there. Oh. The fears, yup. Sounds like, yep, gotcha. No, my fault for walking forward. Yeah. Okay, man, this is quite a hill to climb here. You know, we don't really see too many of those in Florida either. I'm talking about the hills, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's see here. How can Silent Scope do this? You know, he, he Actually finding that spacing there to kind of contest, but. The help is not going to work out here. You can't take any more chip or trade. Oh, that's and a super. That's a punish. He did. Ev he didn't even let the animation finish. He just stood up and took it. Yeah. So there we go. Super RV moves.